Featherweights 2, Electro Charge 2, and Trade Sector. I think I'll just take Trade Sector, man. I think I'll just take Trade Sector, yeah. Just the coziest, the most, uh, most open-ended. And then what are we doing over here, man? What are we doing over here? We have this. But I don't really want to play uh, Anima Squad. I definitely think I want to level up. Hmm. And then use our reroll. We're getting a lot of Nasus, but I don't really care about that, do I? What's the best I can play here? Just this girl. Mascot. Giant Slayer on this. And then we just send it, and we already checked admin. It is on ally death, gain 20 ability power. So that is probably what I want to play here. That is extremely powerful, so we're probably just going to do that. But we can just play Anima Squad as a build-up, which is not the best build-up, but... That is the things we have right now. Do you think 4 Mascot could be sick? Maybe 4 Mascot could be sick as well. I don't think we win this, do we? Maybe? I think she's gonna one-shot me with one ult. Oh, that is just lucky, bro. Not bad. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad. That is a lot of freaking Nasus, bro. Maybe I should have bought them. But I'm really not gonna play Nasus, am I? Yeah, there's no way. Oh. Oh. I honestly... Now nah, I just play these two stars, then. I just played the two stars, right, guys? I mean, it's crazy. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We don't have any traits active, any good ones. Like, giving her AP on ally death is not really that good. Oh, he gets so tanky, though. I think we smurfed this because he gets too tanky. Nice. He gets so tanky with the bonus AP. Again, guys, when an ally dies, admins gain 20 ability power for the rest of combat. So that is definitely... Whenever you see when an ally dies, and then either ability power or mana, uh, just go for it, man. Just hard commit to admin, and you will do well, I promise you. Sick. You get this girl as well. I roll. Oh, sick, guys. Six Nasus. <laughs> We're just not playing Nasus, bro. We're just not playing Nasus, man. I, I low-key want to pre-level, huh? I'll never need this. The Galio is for mascot. If I get a two-star Galio, I'm playing it. Okay, not bad. So we have a Giant Slayer for LeBlanc. Or for Soraka, depending on which one we will focus on. Depending on which one I get more of. Like, if I get, like... Even if I get a two-star Soraka, but I get, like, eight LeBlancs very easily, then you just itemize the LeBlanc, man. Because the three-star will be better than the Soraka two-star. But if we gain uh, only, like, two LeBlancs, but two Sorakas, then you put them on the Soraka. But it also depends if you get uh, on ally death gain mana, admins gain mana, 20 mana. That is just too over. I mean, this is crazy. I don't think we'll get it, man, but this is just crazy, bro. Like, what am I looking at? I don't think we'll get it. It's already gone. Feels bad. But that is a okay because there's another item which is even more important. Wow, we're getting that one, though. Okay, now we can pretty much quit. Unfortunate. That was just a millimeter. That was just so close. Ah, sad, bro. Very sad. Bro, I am so tanky, no? 
Am I not really strong? Look at this. Okay, so who gets this? Who gets this? Him for now? Sure. And then what do we sell? We'll never need a 3-star LeBlanc. But you take a 3-star LeBlanc if you get a 3-star... Uh, a 3-star Camille. I never need these. I never really need this. And then I guess I sell this. If I lose, I sell Ramos. I don't think I'll lose though. Because as soon as the enemies kill my teammates here, she will have like 250 AP or something. Probably not, but like 200. And she's gonna just obliterate them. Yeah. 160 AP now. And the next ult pretty much finishes the fight. Especially if this dies before the ult. Oh, it doesn't. There we go. And the fight is done. And we sell this. Cool. We can hit hold the Ramus, which is really good. I have a 4 win streak. Can we keep the win streak? Can we keep it? I really want to level up here. Uh, I think I'll sell the Ramus. I'll play the Soraka of, uh, the Sona for Spellslinger. Spellslinger, huh? Cool. Not bad. Change the positioning so the Talon attacks this girl first instead of my carry. Very good. Very good, guys. Can the Galio ult? He did, in fact, ult. She's getting mana fed. No worries. The Riven won't kill her. And he's gonna ult her again. Kill her. No, he doesn't even kill her. Nice. And we win. Very good. We keep our Mr. 100 and he doesn't. Super good for us. Full win streak into Krugs. We get infinite money. Okay, I can just roll here. Cho'Gath is pretty nice. Don't think he's nicer than anything I have right now. But maybe I'll drop something useless here from the Krugs and then we can buy him anyway. Okay, not bad. Now we need a Soraka ASAP. Um, we have admin active. We have mascot active, which we don't want to have active because of the hero augment. We have spell slinger active. That's okay to have active. And we have civilian active. That is not really okay. Nice, I drop it here. Can we drop another tier? No, but we can drop that. Um... Yeah, I guess it's just going to be a Dragon Claw. Let's check how many AP players there are. Right, that is not AP. That is not AP. That is probably... A yeah, that is AP. Uh, this is probably... Uh, probably uh, Recon. This is probably not Recon according to the items. Even though he has some Recon units. There is a decent amount of AP, but it's not nothing too crazy. Oh, frick, Belved. I'm pretty sure we just get rid of him. Yeah, I, I like that much more. And we give her a T. Oh, frick, that was almost a misclick. And then I guess I'm just gonna make this. And the reason why we play Belved here, even though we get weaker, we go weaker. But we don't have civilian and mascot active. So my hero augment, if this becomes a hero augment is not going to be terrible. Okay? Because if we get a mascot hero augment, it is not looking good, guys. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. And then we just kick that guy for Riven or Jax. Actually, it's never Riven. Aim assist. GG, guys. GG. Aim assist. And that is because we don't have freaking... There's no Alistair garbage, you know, no Alistair augment. We just get the clean aim assist, guys. All good. Because we manipulated the augment. Okay, we definitely... Usually I don't pick up the LeBlanc, but here I'm gonna pick it up, man. It's gonna give me infinite win streak. GG, guys. Very good position to be in. And then, um... Might as well play this, this, no? Because we don't even need Spellslinger now. <laughs> Is 
Is this good? Looks good to me. Oh, frick, I'm getting hacked on. Oh, I'm getting hacked. Oh, no, I'm getting hacked, bro. Oh, that is not good. Ah, that is just sad, bro. That is just sad. I should have scouted. I mean, is it is it reasonable to not assume somebody has Zed at stage 3-2? I would say so. With double edge of night, last whisper, into the night hero augment. I would say so, guys. I would say so. I would say it's pretty reasonable to assume that. Unfortunately, not for me. Unfortunate, guys. Very unfortunate. There's another Belveth. You know what? I need to check my fourth admin ASAP. I feel like this is stronger than this stupid mascot. Okay. Uh, I lost my win streak, which loses infinite money. That is just very sad. If my LeBlanc... Ah, that's just so sad, bro. Okay. From now on, always scout. I'll scout at stage 2 for hacker. From now on, okay? Let's always remember that. I will scout at freaking stage 2 for hacker. Okay, I would have lost here anyway, so that makes me feel a lot better. Because that means I didn't just lose my win streak just because of scouting. I would have lost it the next turn anyway. That is A-OK. -okay. We need a Zoe, by the way, ASAP. Because we already have Prankster, we need Hacker for some lifesteal. We need a Zoe ASAP, guys. I'm just gonna go for crit. We need Jewel Gauntlet ace super fast. <laughs> nice, there's an Annie. That's what we needed as well. I think I'll just stack the items on him then. This is good. This looks good to me. Go full money. Full money right now. Full money. Um, a jeweled Lotus would be insane because then I could just go with Garbreaker on her. And we're chilling. We go for the full money here. So I can go for a very big roll down on level 7. And uh, if we get three or more LeBlancs, I will just, you know, stay level 7 and three starter LeBlanc. Otherwise, we go level 8. Honestly, though, if I get a lot of money here, I have 78 health. I think I just roll at 8. Because, remember, guys, being higher level means I can put one more unit onto my board, which means one more unit dies for my um, admin bonus, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And these are all the units we will need. We need this guy, we need this, we need this. This is going to be our frontline core. And then we'll need a Zoe, we'll need a Soraka. Zoe and Soraka. Level 8, Zoe and Soraka. That's our board. We get everything. We get so many synergies as well. For admin. Yeah, I think I'm rolling at 8, man. I'm not even gonna roll right now. Because I'm stable enough to kill a couple units every, every single fight. So I'm not gonna lose that much health. But let's see how bad this, this, this loss is gonna be. Let's just see how bad this one's gonna be. It also depends on, our, on the items that we drop from wolves. If they are bad, we might have to roll at 7. Okay, come on, come on. Die, die, guys, die. And now she's gonna 1v9. She's not. That's a pretty bad loss, so I think I have to roll at 7. That's a pretty freaking bad loss. I I'm not sure if I'll find uh, any, so I'm not gonna sell her. I really don't know if, I'll go if I'm gonna find her. Oh, nice. There's a Zoe. A Zoe is big. Okay, sure. Cool. Just gotta find Soraka. It's completely uncontested, I believe. I need to check what my fourth admin is gonna be. 
or my four admin bonus. And I think it's almost always going to be good because it's on ally death. Guaranteed. Need to play hacker for the lifesteal and for the little hacker him dying. Wow. Okay, you know what? That's not even bad. That ain't even bad, bro. I honestly... I think I just go nah nah nah. I just chill. I do do jeweled lotus, bro. Jeweled lotus, and I'm chilling. Jeweled lotus. Do we even take level up? Even if we get it, we need to level. I'm gonna wait one turn. Do we even take level up? Don't think so. Do we take an admin emblem? Yes. Admin emblem for sure, because then we can hit our whole whole comp by level seven. I think I can win this fight, I'm not sure. But this guy doesn't look that strong. Okay, I'm completely wrong. I'm completely wrong. Blue buff feels a lot better already. Okay, let's go. Again, hacker is mainly for the... It's a little bit of lifesteal, which can make a difference, but not really. The big thing is the Hecarim, that it spawns and that counts as an allied death, which means 23 AP. Jewel, oh, holy guys, I mean that is just disgusting bro. I, that, that is just not even funny anymore man, that is not even funny anymore bro. Okay, I definitely go level 8 because now I'm really strong, she's gonna do so much damage. I'm just gonna frontline the Zoe as well, just make everyone die ASAP. So she just goes crazy. For sure go level 8 now. So we can definitely find Soraka. If I... If I if I get... Uh, I guess I just go for another blue buff, man. But what if, it's, what if it's on ally death gain mana? But if I find another blue buff, I just go on ally death gain more AP. I think AP is the best one. Now, after the, after the mana nerf, I think AP is even better, man. There's the hacker again. This time he doesn't hit me. I think we're still gonna lose to him. But it's not gonna be as much of a loss as last time. Actually, she might 1v9. Watch this. Okay, Edge of Night. You know what? I'll take a loss here. The loss is better. The one unit loss is really good. I only trade a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, health for a lot of money. Do you see how she won me nine at the end? That is that is that is her, our whole principle here. That is the whole playstyle. I was hoping for Soraka. Heart is gonna be not even that important. I guess I'll pick her up just in case. Because there's two variations. If you get on ally death, gain mana, you go hard for sure, and then you don't play any, you don't play this, you still play this, you still play this, but you just play two threats probably. I mean, you can still play these, but then you're a three out of four spell slinger, and it's a little bit triggering. We have a Hodge, which we're not gonna use. We're gonna go for another blue buff on Soraka, I think. And we level up here and we roll it down. This guy should be easy to beat. He's killing everything, and now my. My girl is just going to obliterate his whole team. Is she though? Okay, maybe not. Right, never, mind. <laughs> never mind, guys. Never freaking mind. But that is A-OK. -okay. I have 26 health. Huge comeback incoming. Watch this. Huge loss streak as well. Lots of money. Wow, don't mind if I do, guys. I mean, that's just too easy, man. This is where a certain anime character would say, yare yare. For sure, guys, for sure. No, not much, not much to say, man. GG. Pre-installed blue buff Soraka. Pre-installed, man. That is definitely not something we will uninstall. Usually you uninstall the pre-installed garbage, right? But this one, definitely not, boy. Gain 20 mana 
Okay. That means we want to play this girl somehow. We want to play hard, right? So we just don't play this. And then we just play this. Perfect. <laughs> okay, GG. G, G, well played, guys. Okay, now we gain mana and ability power on death, which means my girls are gonna turbo cast their abilities, which means I can basically not lose. If I hit 3 star LeBlanc, I am guaranteed to get a first place here, guys. That is how broken this comp is. But it only happens very rarely. You have to get. When an ally dies, gain ability power or gain mana. These two have to be it. A combination of them or both the same. Yeah. Oh yeah, he shifted the Z as well, but that is okay because I have two girls that are just gonna obliterate his team. And this guy is gonna dash behind this Sona, and then he's never gonna attack my LeBlanc, so that's good. Not bad. Six LeBlancs, no one contesting it, I believe. Finding the Fiddle was very lucky as well. Not bad, guys. This was the level 6. Was this the level 6 uh, Yasuo? Uh, Z, I mean? I think it was... Alright, we're only looking for LeBlanc, 2 star, 2 star this guy, 2 star this girl, heart, heart right here, not really too needed, this would be our level 9, right, any, but I mean, our level 9 is just Urgot, bro, but yeah, as you can see, there's like two different comps, you either have, uh, if I get full mana, if I get full AP, 40 AP, if, I, if the second admin bonus would have been AP, Again. Uh, then I don't like heart. Because then you're getting so much AP already. You don't really need heart. But since I'm getting um, 20 mana now as well, this girl goes crazy with the cast. So heart is really good. Okay, so this is definitely a jeweled gauntlet. There's no debate. And then this is just a random item, which doesn't even matter. There's gonna be a belt or a sunfire or something if I drop something by Urgot. Something like that. Okay. Okay, and then we just give this to him right now, whatever. Doesn't really matter, because um, the future tank items will just go on him, I think. Should probably... Nah, I, I'm not gonna move it. Because 2-star Echo will be useful. This guy has Axiomark LeBlanc, which is... Uh, Axiomark... Uh, Axiomark MF, which is very, very dangerous, guys. She kills your whole team and then casts again and finishes them off. But that's okay. Jeweled Gauntlet... Super important on that Soraka as well. We have two really strong carries now, guys. Now we pretty much only need tank items. The LeBlanc just casts permanently. If you do get a mana on ally death, always play LeBlanc carry. Even if you don't have this, play LeBlanc carry. Because LeBlanc saves the mana. She stores it while she's shooting her ult. If, she, if someone dies and she gains mana... She's gonna save it. So after she's done, she depletes that resource. If you catch my drift, guys. So uh, she just she's really OP with this on ally death gain mana. Uh, Soraka also really good, but you know, and she's a heart unit, so it's still really good. But yeah, I have two carries, man. I think this Zed just can't do much. But why are we fighting Zed all the time, man? I keep fighting Zed. What's up with that? I'm just gonna shift like this. I'm gonna put the Zoe in the back. Even though it's better to put her in the front. She has Prankster and... But just against the Zed, right? She, uh... If, if the Zed attacks her, he gets stuck on the... On the Prankster dummy. But again, I have threats on both sides of the board. Right? 
I have the LeBlanc and the Soraka, so it's really hard to deal with. You can see both of them are doing the exact same amount of damage. LeBlanc will deal much more when she becomes a 3-star. But for now, that is not happening. I mean, now I just roll down, right? I mean, surely I hit, right? I mean, it's definitely the right decision to roll down, no? When you're one off on LeBlanc 3, and that just pretty much locks in the game. The game's over. But whereas I have 26 health, so if I lose one against a strong enemy, I am at one shot. So I definitely roll down, right? It was just a little bit unlucky. We, de we definitely uh, roll down there. At least that's what I think, so. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, it, just, it just was a little bit unlucky. 40 gold, no LeBlanc. Uncontested. And then I can still level later. It's definitely magic pen, huh? We don't have a single uh, magic pen item, so... A little overcommit. I mean, how do you know that? Like, you can't really say overcommit. If I hit, you would say, oh, good job. When you're one off, I'm pretty sure I've never seen anybody not roll to zero. Okay. You want to leave the Hecarim empty so he dies ASAP? Okay, so how do we do this, man? We're against Zed, probably. Okay. We're not against Zed. This guy has a two-star fiddle at level seven, guys. That is A-OK, -okay, guys. Some people have to be lucky, right? Some people have got to be lucky. I'm glad I have a static shiv against this double Dragon Claw Ramus. That is really good to have. Otherwise, this guy would not melt like butter like he did there. LeBlanc? Nope. Nope, still not. Urgot. Fiddle. Double Fiddle, double Urgot. We just lock. I mean, Urgot, I need him later. I'll just pick up the Fiddle. Urgot is level 8. Eh, level 9 play. But we can also just end our game at level 8. Uh, maybe this was dumb, because now my, both my girls are on the same side, but... I think it should be okay. 3-star Cho'Gath, 3-star uh, other girl. I do have a little bit of hacker juice going, so I can heal back up to full. And we can kill this guy. Never mind, guys. She did a little bit too much damage. Th both of them being on the same side... I'll split them again for sure for the next fight. This is why I'm rolling to zero, by the way. If I hit LeBlanc 3, that doesn't happen. Also, LeBlanc 3 is way overdue because this guy has 3-star Cho'Gath, 3-star um, Ramos, which thins out the pool a lot, right? It is definitely way overdue. So those rolls were just very unlucky. We spent like 70 gold and we didn't find the last LeBlanc. That's just it, man. Not much we can say. Can we please hit LeBlanc now? Because otherwise we can actually lose the game. The next time I fight the Kai'Sa player, I might be dead. I might win if I'm on opposite corners though. Okay, please. LeBlanc. No one has a single LeBlanc, guys. No one has a single LeBlanc. Uh, 
Uh, I think that's Hexagon Blade. No cap. Oh, I should have removed the item. I should have changed uh, Giant Slayer. No, actually, she has Hacker. It's fine. Surely it's fine. Hexagon Blade. Sure. Because the Soraka has a little bit of built in healing. Mm -hmm. That should be an easy win. Nah, oh, it was a little bit close. She just ran out of juice. Okay, we got top three. Already good. Nice. There's my LeBlanc. That's all we need. Roll once. Chill. Now we just try to go level nine, but it's probably not going to happen anymore. Oh, whoops. That was a misclick. Now it's probably GG, huh? Oh, this guy has four three stars in the time I have one three star. That's pretty ridiculous, huh? <laughs> that is definitely ridiculous. That is super ridiculous. Oh, nice. We're away from the Cho'Gath ult. That's big. Don't get mana reefed. On the LeBlanc. And I mean, this should be an easy win. It's also his ghost. He has a fully equipped uh, vein as well, by the way. How much AP do they have at the end? 300? It's not even that much. Maybe I can hit a two-star fiddle. This guy's still win streaking. I just barely beat him. I, I have no clue how this happens, guys. Trade sector, multi-shot, and just hits everything, man. I haven't had a game like that in like two weeks. That's okay. That is A-OK, -okay, guys. Do we ever hack the, the LeBlanc into the backline? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we just stay like this and we chill. We just keep switching a little bit. He probably switched his Cho'Gath. He did. He did indeed switch his Cho'Gath. Go fiddle CC them a little bit and you did your job. Good job, sir. And then you can die and feed my girls their AP. And she keeps shooting. There we go. Nice. Good job. Well done, guys. Well done. This guy lost as well. And now what? Fiddle on Carousel? Oh, don't mind if I do. Is there any better item? I mean, not really, bro. You're not gonna go for an item at that point. Alright, that pretty much locks the game in, I think. That pretty much locks it in, huh? <clears throat> the fiddle on the carousel. Should be all we need. Became a little bit scary because we really, really got unlucky with the LeBlanc rolls at the end, but uh, we will not complain because the biggest thing was saving our HP with Jewel Lotus so much, right? And we could go level 8. That was huge. That was huge because you want exactly this comp here. With this, because then you can fit this girl for Prankster, Hacker, and all of that good stuff. I'm just going to switch them, even if he attacks my... LeBlanc with Zed, I don't think it will matter. But, um... Because the Soraka will just 1v9 as well at the end. With the Gunblade and everything. It's too powerful as well. I mean, he can... Okay, he... Wait, that Mordekaiser Wolf was actually insane. I was getting scared. But we should be okay. She's just gonna keep shooting. And GG boy. And then it's just me and Kai'Sa. The Kai'Sa guy is insane, bro. I mean, I can't hit anything, right? But I, I think I can actually level. Yeah, we can level. If we win this one, we level. I mean, I have to win this one. I, I have to win it. Did he get stronger? He didn't get stronger, huh? And he got obliterated last fight. He didn't get stronger at all. I'm just gonna move back. Nice. Just don't get hit on the LeBlanc with the Cho'Gath, but it may doesn't make a big difference. Because the Soraka has a low mana pool, so does the LeBlanc. Oh, but this this Chad Echo just pulls it onto the other side, man. Pulls the Cho'Gath ult onto the other side. That was a Giga Chad. And then hopefully we just beat everything. We did. Nice. <sighs> okay, the Edge of Night is so, so scary for me. 
I so we can level as well. Because we will drop some money, we will drop enough. We have the win streak, so we'll have plenty of money. And then I just need to think about what I'll play. I guess I'll just play Aegis. So if we find something like that, that would be good. Uh, we could play Brawler, that seems pretty useless. A second fiddle would be amazing, and Urgot is not that useful anymore. Although his CC is not going to be bad. But probably just Aegis. Aegis would be by far the best. That just locks it in. A Vi, an Alistair. Doesn't matter. Either of those. There's a Vi. A Syndra. I'm pretty sure Syndra is worse. I'm pretty sure Alistair is worse than Vi. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, we get an Ionic Spark as well. I mean, sure. It's a Shroud for sure. Where's my Shroud? Right games. Right games. Cool. It didn't shroud anything. Hopefully it's okay. It's a shroud to cancel this uh, Cho'Gath ult. The Cho'Gath ult is the scariest thing. Luckily we still win. Thank you Riot Games. For the last little uh, jump scare. But we still win in this horror game. Not bad guys, we did it. The classic admin. When you get the OP admins guys, it's pretty much always a first. No cap. Just get those tiers on every carousel, get that, get those AP items if you can. Um, sometimes you won't be able to. Don't be silly then, play something else then. If you get only AD items, you have to play AD. But um, yeah, usually when that works, you can even beat a Goliath like this guy. That was insane. That was one of the best boards I've ever seen. Subscribe to notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time. Peace.